Digital technology has already changed the way we communicate and consume everything, from news to pictures and music. It is also changing the way we teach and learn. At the Open University, which runs distance learning courses for thousands of people each year, academics are finding new ways to advance remote learning. One project, known as Ghost Hands, allows instructors to talk pupils through complicated manoeuvres via the internet. More controversial is the use of data analytics to predict a student's future grade during the very first week of their course. Peter Scott, head of the university's Knowledge Media Institute, explains his work. And Knowledge Media is the, the new form of computing. Um, it's what computing really would be if it was a, a real science, because we're trying to bring to um, you, the user, really smart technologies embedded in your world. So you will see more and more um, the commercial world analyzing your behavior and using analytics to predict something about what you're going to need to know next. In learning, if you're a university, you can do some of those same things, but not so much to sell your student something, but to help your student to head in the right direction. Predictive technology, which gathers information about individuals' backgrounds, their engagements with online textbooks and how active they are on web forums, has so far been used on over 41,000 OU students to assess how likely they are to struggle during the course. This information gathering may sound intrusive. Some students have expressed concern to researchers at the OU about their data being used in this way. Are innovations like these turning universities into Big Brother? So, we don't need your credit card. We do not need to use uh, any of the data about you for some purpose to try and manipulate you. We want to give you the data so you manipulate yourself. It's important for you to be able to change yourself, so we must give you the right data about who you are so that you can transform yourself into the new learner. At UK publisher Macmillan, digital education products are a lucrative and growing market. The company produces e-textbooks and online learning materials with built-in quizzes which test both how well students are learning and how effective their teachers are. One of Macmillan's companies, Sky Factor, produces a programme currently being used by 130 US universities to collect data on all aspects of students' lives from their grades and class attendance to how often they're clocking in at sports clubs or visiting the financial aid officer. All this information is combined to help universities predict the likelihood of a student dropping out early, a financial liability which results in a significant loss of fees. But is gathering all this data a step too far? You know, we collect this data in order to um, improve the outcomes for the students. We want to improve the efficacy of the content that's delivered to the students and improve the teaching that they receive. So the purpose of collecting the data is you know, ethically sound. Our obligation is to make sure that the data is held securely, uh, that we adhere to the privacy policies of wherever we operate and as, as an organisation that takes those things very seriously we spend a lot of our time making sure we do exactly that. For David Willits, the UK's former universities minister, the digital transformation is something to be embraced rather than feared. I think a related form of ed tech that's really mattering is, is gamification using the skills that people who write computer games have got in holding our attention and gripping us, using that for educating us as well. Provided you have got the consent of the student, then I think the more that the university knows about how he or she is getting on and the kind of um, material they're accessing to learn, I think that will be very helpful. So I, I think the future is likely to be the heavy use of online learning supplemented with other types of education experience rather than the pure online experience, though that is now viable. It's clear that digital education will never replace the experience of being in a physical classroom. And students are wary of any new technology which allows academics to monitor their study habits. As more and more learning moves online, there are serious questions about how education institutions will use the information they gather, not only to improve teaching, but also to get ahead in a competitive education marketplace where each UK undergraduate degree is worth nearly £30,000. After all, data on the workforce of tomorrow is of much wider commercial value, 
to advertisers, insurers and even future employers. Helen Worrell, Financial Times, London.